What up everybody, uh, here at my friend's house. And a bunch of us guys are gonna get around today and make some pepper sticks, some duck waterfowl pepper sticks, mix of goose and duck. My friend Milton's got a grinder and all that good stuff to do it. So we bought our own casing, bought, bought the pork shoulder, brought all our waterfowl and all that good stuff. He's got the seasonings too. So stay tuned and uh, hang out with us and see how we do this. And maybe it's something you guys can get into and do. Um, there's a lot of people that don't like waterfowl. They don't like the taste of it and all that stuff. And I get that. Um, there's some out there it's not that I'm not a big fan of myself either. But uh, there is a lot of times that I do like doing mallards, pintail. Like those are ones I always do. But when it comes to the rest of the stuff, it's kind of nice. Throw them in pepper sticks and then you can use them in the next season in the blind bag for a snack. So let's do it. Here's the pork shoulder. It was buy one, get one free today. It's actually really cheap. Got a lot of fat on it. And then there is all. I just doing this much for today. I think maybe that's probably 10, 12 pounds. I got a bunch more in the freezer, but we're gonna stick with that. And then my awesome brother. Today's the first day I get to use this. Check it out. It's the Meat Crafter by Benchmade. It's pretty sick. Use it to cut up the meat today. Got the logo on it. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. <whistles> Yeah, that's cool. So we're going to put it to work today. Got some pepper sticks from a year ago. These are teriyaki hot. These are actually really good. Local meat locker make them for, made them for me. But today we're going to be doing, I believe, Cajun. Kelly, hey, sit. Sit. You're already not lying. I can already see it now. <laughs> hey, sit. Hey, sit. See? <laughs> <laughs> probably the it is bad. Check this. I woke up this morning. This is one solid frozen chunk of ice. I forgot to take it out last night. So I had to put it in some warm water and hand break it all up. Tell us what you're doing, Adam. Uh, metal detecting. Searching for treasures. Looking for treasures. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to find the treasures when we're eating our pepper sticks. Shovelers, so. widgeon, teal. A lot of teal Pintails. from us. <laughs> Mallards. Pintails. Pintails. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, Simmons. There's a few doves in there, actually. Some dove. We got some doves in here. Whoa, that's long. Good times. Oh, that's Luckily, scary. we shot mostly steel. <laughs> Okay, this is not knife, a, probably not sure how we <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit in your voice. Just this combine it. Up. Is this sure you don't got in there? Here's the knife getting put to work. Uh, Here's the pork shoulder. But I'll go in more detail once we get going. But you got to have this. That is a must. And Milton's gonna help us. Uh, figure out the ratio and all that good stuff so this is from the beard butchers they're on youtube uh, got the cajun flavor america trump 2020 we're in america well we're gonna go 20 pounds of duck 20 pounds of pork uh two pounds of hair talk to me keep going oh, oh. keep going we're doing a 50-50 blend here. A little less. That's good. So there's 20 pounds of pork, or 20 pounds of duck. Okay. Now, let's put 20 pounds of pork. Keep going. Oh, just a touch more. Let's see. Get it off there. Right there, you there. That's good. That's 10? That's 10. That's good. Yeah. We can almost do another one of this and have our two mixes and both of them. Make sure you get that duck from the bottom. Yeah. Um, so three of these, you say? Yeah. For, for this, for this, for thirty-six pounds, it's that does twelve pounds. One. Let's see what he say. One ounce does two, two pounds. pounds. Yeah. Yep. Boys, we got thirty-six pounds. Hurry back, Caleb. Oh, that smells good. It smells good. Yeah, it's gonna help a <laughs> lot. All right, now here's the curing salt. We're using one teaspoon for for every five pounds. So we need seven of these. Right, we got one. 36 pounds, so we'll use seven in a little bit. 
It's looking our hands, are, our hands are froze, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Partially frozen. It's pretty appetizing now, huh? It smells a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> you got plenty mm. of those. So okay. we got our seasoning and we got the curing salt. It's ready to grind. It's pretty good. The pork looks real good. Come on, you're right. <laughs> Love that. Now, why do you freeze it? It keeps the meat, if this is warm, that motor and all that stuff will get this warm and then it'll, the fat will kind of start breaking down stringy. and get all sticky and stringy. So this kind of helps because this isn't frozen like it should be. You just left it in there overnight or what? No, just this morning. What size blades are you using in this? Um, these, these size. I mean, not the blade, the, uh, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's what you're trying yeah, to I'm not real sure. We're using the largest one first. Oh, you are going to run it through a couple times? Three times. Oh, wow. So we're going to use the largest one first, which is this one. And then after that, we'll run it through twice on the small one. So Milton said, don't stick yeah. it, don't start out dry. You got to get the meat down in there first before you turn it on. Are you ready, Freddy? Let's do it. All right. So that's the first grind, and they're gonna mix it again, hand mix it to kind of mix all the pork and the water foul up. Gets the seasonings mixed up more, and just so they'll do that until it's completely mixed again, and then we're gonna run it through the second time. All right, changing out for the smaller blade and grind number two. Pack it in there first. Yeah, you want to get a little bit down inside. That's a little slower Number this two. one. Yeah. You might have to just uh, maybe drop, drop oh. it in. All right, that's the second grind. We're gonna do it for the third. And then uh, Turn that to start filling it. Putting it in the sticks. And for that, this is the brand we bought. Smokehouse Chef uh, Edible Mahogany Collagen Case in 21 millimeter. So, got these on Amazon. Pretty cheap, so. Anyways, it says, basically this will do 25 pounds with one package. Here is the third grind, the last and final grind. Is it moving smoother, Jake, or about the same? You can make it kind of throw in the freezer to get it like halfway frozen. It actually helps a lot. But now it's moving pretty fast, dude. Oh, man. I'm surprised it's moving that fast for how soft it is. All right, now they put some water in to get it that through the... Good. Milton, what's that called? The What are you calling that? The, the stuffer. The, the stuffer? stuffer. So they're they put in the water to get a certain texture to go through the the stuffer. If you don't, if you just put it straight through, it's just not going to feed through. So we'll all shut up. Doing the heavy lifting here. Do you recall the big guns on? Sounds out, guns out. America. Morgan. Well, I'll show you guys the kind of texture we're looking for. That supposedly we've been told. We're getting pretty close Hello? right here. I think. Think so? Yeah, that is. We might have added a little bit too much water on this one, but by the time we mix them together, it's a little soupy. we'll be good to go. And the master chef. I ripped my glove. This is the texture we're looking for? Yep. Fill this up. I guess. To find that texture, what does that it don't matter. resemble? We just had gloves on, so I went to him. Uh, I don't know. You see, we're going to put it in the bucket. Mash it around so there's no air pockets, John. Okay. Flatten it out. So, see, what we're going to want to do is we're going to flatten it out. That's the key to this. There you go. You're good. 
Oh, there we go. See? Then when it's got you, yeah, there you go. Let's work it. So is it just one long one, or? Yeah. And then you just cut it? Uh-huh. <laughs> He's going to watch this 10 years from now. I'm like, why did I ask that? <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? You can't take you nowhere. No. Tie a knot on it. And then begin. All right, we should be good to go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's like a big old turd right there. All right. Oh, We're all layered up here. So, he said if you can have air gap in there. It's kind of, I think it matters just being that close. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he said it did. They said you want some gap between to, for cooking, but. All of them? Yeah. Just every other Probably. All right, it's been on for about. Two and a half hours, three hours, probably another hour left, somewhere in there, maybe two hours left. But you want to get it at 165 degrees internal temp. It's 160, 165, and then you pull them off. Let's see what they look like they've been off for a while. Oh, yeah. They're definitely getting dark compared to what they were when we first put them on. See, we're at 154 internally. We'll take them off and then we'll give them like an ice bath or soak them in water to cool them down. We're gonna do an ice bath instead of water. All right, we're at 165. Let's let's drag this over there and we'll just drop it straight in. <laughs> that don't burn, does it? It's all smoky. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> How long do you think you leave them in here? No. Just long enough. A to, couple minutes. So the internal temperature can cool down. Oops, sorry. Daniel, you like it? It's like the prep, boys. Better than the way we cook it? Yeah. Way better. What am I doing? I'm jumping I don't think I've ever ate a duck. You're taking those ends off, right? Yeah. You know what? This would be good then, probably, if you, if you just like put these up and roll it like. And there you go. I've never been to a dunk and stuff. Hey, take oh, notes from him. See how he's case. doing that? This would be well, a good breakfast. Normal, baby. Yeah. She didn't like it. Like put it in the scrambled eggs. Even in gravy. Well, here, drink this, baby. Oh, yeah. Put this in your scrambled eggs. There's no meat for that. The eggs are good just by itself with some cheese in it. Like, look, it's a protein. A little caviar. Just little scrappies right here. Yeah. Oh, we got. I mean, that's what we need in the picture of the thumbnail right there. Dude, and that's just one 12 pound cook. Hey, my arms rested up, dude. I'm that's ready awesome. to crank. I'm ready to crank some more out. I'll, uh, I'll vacuum seal these up. That's a picture of you. Yeah, picture of that too. That might be the oldest. We've got plenty more over there. Can we bite into one of these that's and see how they part. taste? Yeah. yeah. Cutting them up, making a <laughs> Whistle. Final thoughts. It was awesome. Actually, very good. A lot better. Than oh, you're that. still eating on them, right? Yeah. Still eating. Good. We yeah. tried the old cheese and Sealing. rich crackers. It was fun. Yeah. It's a good mix, huh? Can you even put that in your mouth? What I like to do? Pull it out of your mouth. Wow. Close it back. You just wash it down with some dew? Frozen. It's like a slushy. It's like Kelly gets a treat. Like the garbage gets the treat. <laughs> okay, close her down for me. Alright, we better. Um, get it. We could uh, write on these, you know. Just like the plate. Well, boys, that is going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hopefully I didn't forget nothing to put in the video, but I think we covered it all. Temps and times and all that good stuff. Anyways, it turned out really good. <laughs>